get ready. Let's bring through our final angler, your D1, D2 leader, excuse me. He is the youngest angler ever to win the Forestwood Cup. He won the first two Bassmaster Elite Series events he finished. 14 Bassmaster Top 10. Get loud for Jacob Wheeler! Hold on. I, I don't want to know what's in there. I don't know how this is all going to work out. But no matter how it works out. I mean, grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana. But, I mean, it, it, I don't think you can wonder how he feels about Tennessee. Because you're living here right now. But to be in this position, you and I, head to head here, we're going to have a great champion no matter what way it works out. Tell me about your week. Yeah, I mean, it was an unbelievable week. I wasn't on a whole lot, and I, uh, you know, I, I went out there every single day, and, and just, you know, this is the thing. When it's your time to win, it's your time to win. I went out there and, and caught them every single day, you know, and, and that's what it's about, you know, is, uh, is, is switching it up, trying to figure out, uh, you know, new stretches, new patterns throughout the week, and I mean, that's what uh, I try to do, and caught quite a few fish doing that, and caught some big ones too. Been an incredible week for you. A lot of companies helped you uh, get throughout the year. Incredible support from your family, your brand new baby here. Um, tell me about how that feels. Yeah, I mean, my wife, obviously my whole support group. Um, I'll tell you what, this is real big. Uh, I started fishing, you know, really early on, and, and there's a couple guys, Brian Johnson's here, and uh, my buddy Greg Morehouse, the guys I used to fish team tournaments back when I was 12, 13, 14 years old. That support right there, man. I. You know, that's, uh, those guys uh, mean a lot to me. My dad, obviously, he's not here, but mom's here. Uh, just being in this position, obviously, all my sponsors, Academy Sports and Outdoors, they, they are a phenomenal partner. They look out for me day in and day out. I, I can't thank you guys enough for, for the support and continue to support me. Real treat. Uh, Evan Root Outdoors, Triton Boats, Matt Jackson, phenomenal guy. I just I feel like family. I mean, every single one of them, Dan Quinn Rappala, I, I just, uh, I can't express how much I appreciate them and I appreciate you all because this has been an unbelievable classic and we're going to have an unbelievable champion. We are going to see who it is here in just a minute. I'll let you dig deep in that live well. Your day two tournament leader started the day with 32 pounds, 6 ounces. We're going to have an incredible champion, no matter who it is, Tennessee. He started today with 32 pounds, 6 ounces. Looking for 16, 14, 12 pounds, 15 champion and you did it right here in Rocky Top. Um, it, when I went to my first classic at nine years old, watched George Cochran win that tournament. I knew right then I wanted to be a bass fisherman. And I wanted to do this right here so bad I couldn't stand it. When you have a dream like that, when you have a dream like that, when you believe in God, man, He just makes a way for this to happen. When it shouldn't happen, He makes a way. Yeah. Many 
of y'all watched on live today, you'll, you've heard this story already. But yesterday afternoon, I mean, we're, we're over there at the boat yard. And I'm waiting, and you know, they're holding me back to, to come weigh in later. And I've got to go pee. Dude, I've got to go pee so bad I can't stand it. It's a long ride back up the river. We get up there, and I finally I'm talking to some people, and there's a port john over there at the end of the deal. I start walking over that way, and Keith Boucher is standing there. And he's mad, he's kicking rocks, he had a tough tournament. I mean, we've all been there. Nobody wants to do it here, but it happens. And we were just talking fishing, we've not weighed in yet. And we're buddies and stuff, and he says, yeah, man, I, I caught some fish down here off this dock, you know, some decent fish and stuff. Like, I've caught some there before. So I'm down that way, I guess I'll swing in there tomorrow. I don't know what I owe you, Keith. But I'll buy you a pretty big steak for sure. <laughs> and I ended up weighing, weighing four of my fish off of there. I mean, two really good ones, a couple nice ones. And then I ended up catching a four pounder weight off a of place I've been fishing. So that's what God used a full bladder and Keith Boucher for me to do well this tournament today. <laughs> this, man, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I, when I went up to Wisconsin in the Elite Series a few years ago, I was leading after the after the third day maybe and was out there, you know, before that morning getting started. And, and Iconelli, Mike Iconelli told me, he's like, man, when it's meant to be, you can't make it happen and you can't keep it from happening. That's exactly the way it was. You were incredibly calm watching you fish today. You know, you see, you know, stone cold pros that never show emotion. They leave the classic and they start that emotion starts to show how were you able to remain so calm judy can attest to this when i'm fishing dude the only thing i'll think about is catching the next one that's all that matters in my mind when i'm fishing when that rod reels in my hand i don't i have to make myself look down and remember what time it is to make sure to leave because all i can think about is catching the next fish and it's that way whether it's out behind the house in the river playing around or it's in the Bassmaster Classic. I just want to catch the next one. There's a lot of shiny trophies you can win in this sport, but there's one title, and you're going to carry it for the rest of your life. Are you ready to make this official? Absolutely. Tennessee, are you ready to make this official? I'd like to bring out our outgoing Classic Champion, back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic Champion, Jordan Lee to do the honors. Let's hand it off. Hey, he doesn't know how to give it away. He's not good at that part. Sorry. <laughs>
when I first met you, it was in Florida. Your dad was a rookie on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And you really wanted him to do good that week, and I asked you why. And you said, because Daddy said if I do good, he'll bring me to a water park. What kind of water park do you think you're going to now? You know how hard he works tirelessly. And you know, to hear that story about King Jose, that's happened time and time over in your career where somebody's given you a hand, competitors, that didn't happen by accident. It happened by the kind of people that you guys are. And how proud are you of? I, I can't even explain it. The first class the guy I ever been to was one in New Orleans that night won. Um, and Alt looked at me and he said, you know, we were just dating out of high school and he said, I'm going to do that one day. I may have, okay, <laughs> laughed a little. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are indeed. Uh, and, and he's going to be a pro basketball player, so you'll have your big moments here. But you may have a career in fortune telling. At the beginning of the week, what did you write on, in front of your daddy's garage? I need you to make lots and lots of noise. 